Atlanta. The number of people experiencing homelessness is up 7% according to a newly released count from back in January. But tonight, News Network reporter Rob Durienzo has learned that number is likely much higher. Rob is live tonight with the story. Why is that number higher likely, uh, Rob? Hey there, Christine. Good evening to you. Well, these numbers show that the homeless crisis here in Atlanta is heading in the wrong direction. I spoke with one council member who herself experienced her own housing crisis. She says the city needs to step up to the plate. When I was 18 years old, I experienced housing instability. I stayed in and out of my car. I stayed on sofas. That's why council member Liliana Bakhtiari was especially upset to see an uptick in Atlanta's houseless population. That's according to the 2024 count from the nonprofit Partners for Home. That's the organization that leads the city's homeless strategy. We are seeing people who are living at the lowest end of the income spectrum um, increasingly fall into our system. Executive Director Catherine Vassell says at its core, the problem is the housing market. They counted 2,900 people in shelters and on the streets in late January a 7% jump from last year. If we have incomplete data. Council member Bakhtiari says while this count is helpful, it doesn't tell the whole story because people tend to be less visible in the winter months. We need additional information, especially during hotter months when chances of, of health issues or heat related deaths can occur. It's not a perfect number by any means. Vassal says the federal government requires the official count of people battling homelessness to take place in January, at least once every two years, but they do it yearly. Bakhtiari is now exploring legislation to make it twice a year. I don't know how much of a greater impact um, it would have to do multiple counts per year. It is logistically um, a very big endeavor that we put off with, you know, over 300 volunteers. Vassal says it costs about $20,000 to do a citywide point in time count. But the council member thinks the insight from that data will be worth every penny. I have lost count of the number of women I have met on the street who have either been uh, sexually assaulted or ended up passing away. And I did ask Council Member Bakhtiari uh, if there was anything else that Council or the city could do to help quell this crisis. She said two big things. One is hire more localized case managers and the other is build more permanent supportive housing.